So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Now, first we had a black hole, right? A place where the 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 gravity is so strong that anything that enters it cannot make it out. It's it's that strong. A black hole, right? Now they're talking about. And I'm not, when I say now, I don't mean just today or this week or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm just hearing about this. So I put the urgency on the now. You know what I mean? They're talking about a white, a potential white hole. Like, like, do we need another hole? I know that sounds crazy, but do we need another hole, fam? Like, for real. So I, that just... Uh, uh, I'm mind blown for the fact that and I don't even know what this can consist of but if it's anything like the black hole somebody pray for us pray for us bro so we're gonna check out this video astronomers might have found a white hole alright so if you're new to the channel man hit that subscribe button salute to everybody that's appreciating and digging the new content, man. For sure, for sure. Hit that like button for your boy. And uh, let's check this out. The existence of black holes was predicted over a century ago with nothing but math equations. Now we've taken the first photo of one. But black holes still hold plenty of secrets, like their even more mysterious mirror twins, white holes. Really? Imagine if we could record a black hole on video. Watch it pull in and consume any matter that gets too close, even light itself. Now take this rec- I think that was the, the, the craziest thing to me. Even light itself, it's, just, <laughs> it's not getting out. Like, that's the, that's, the, that's the craziest thing to me and mind-blowing. Consume any matter that gets too close, even light itself. Now take this recording and play it backwards. This is what a white hole should be. The black hole's pushing away and matter spewing counterpart. We'll bring it back down to earth. Go to your kitchen sink, turn on the faucet, and see how water flows down into the drain. This drain is a black hole. Mm -hmm. Its attraction is too powerful for a stream of water to escape. But now, focus on the stream itself. Where it meets the surface of the sink, it bursts in all directions with such power that the water can't flow back. This is what a white hole should be. If you could blast off into space in a rocket, you'd meet the biggest challenge. The Earth's gravity won't let you go. Except if your engines are extremely powerful and you're going fast enough to reach what's called escape velocity. The black hole's gravity is so immense that escape velocity becomes completely unreachable. It's higher than the speed of light and nothing in the universe can go faster than that. Take the See, I was thinking maybe possibly, hopefully, you know what I mean, trying to give us some some hope out there that maybe the black hole sucks you in the white hole spits you back out you know what i mean maybe hopefully maybe that's some it, that, that could be a possibility but no no they just pooped on that little pipe dream of mine elements that escape velocity becomes completely unreachable it's higher than the speed of light and nothing in the universe can go faster than that take this force of gravity and switch the direction now it pushes out instead of pulling in. Just like it can't escape a black hole's power, light can't get close to a white hole. That's odd because a white hole has mass, so it should have gravity. Like any space object, white holes should attract other matter to them. Just like the sun keeps the planets floating around it, or the earth keeps your feet on the ground. A black hole has outer borders called event horizons. Within them, gravity is the most powerful. If something goes beyond this limit, it won't ever escape. A white hole's event horizon would be an impenetrable border not letting anything inside. A black hole is constantly feeding on the matter around it. Huge clouds of gas and dust that don't get pulled into the hole end up swirling around it. They form a luminous accretion disk, flattened like that because it's spinning so fast. Unlike black holes, their white twins probably don't rotate, so they wouldn't have these halo-like disks. 
There's no evidence that white holes, as we imagine them, actually lurk somewhere in the universe. So far, they're purely a mathematical theory. So what is the... I don't really see any benefits from them. Like a black hole, say you got meteor or space, whatever out there that can potentially come towards us and damage us, but if it goes towards the black hole, sucks it in, it's gone. You know what I mean? The white hole, it comes toward it, it's gonna push it back out. It's kind of like, you know what I mean? Almost ping, not ping pong, but um, oh, what's the little pinball? Like shooting it around, potentially pushing it back out to potentially harm either us or some somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So what is the, I'm not really seeing any type of benefits. At least I can make that type of claim for a black hole. Look, it's sucking in everything. It's getting rid of some stuff that could potentially harm us. You know what I mean? Lurk somewhere in the universe. So far, they're purely a mathematical theory. Plus, a massive object constantly spewing matter would have to be noticeable. Yet they're nowhere to be found. But there are theories of what a white hole could be. Remember learning in school, matter cannot be created or destroyed. It means the total amount of mass and energy in the universe is constant. For example, when you burn a log, everything in the end, the soot, ashes, and gases, will equal the materials put into it. And no matter what happens to some particle, it still contains information about its original state. Now, this doesn't sit well with black holes. Scientists know that all the mass they have evaporates with time because black holes leak energy. But even if a black hole lost all its mass, it still won't give back the information about everything it consumed. Where does all that material go? Good question. We're used to thinking that the source of a black hole might be a singularity in its center. This is a single point so small, yet so massive and dense, that physics and math just break down. It's almost like it tears a hole in reality itself. Some astronomers think that instead of a singularity as a dense object in the center, there must be an opening deep inside the black hole. It might lead to another point in the universe or to a different universe entirely. And what See, that's what I was thinking. See how it could spit you out somewhere? You know what I mean? What I was hoping it didn't say or hoping they didn't say was, okay, it's feeding on whatever it consumes and then it, it continuously grows, making its gravitational even pull even stronger. You know what I mean? Because then that makes you sit back and go, okay, well, how long before it starts to devour everything? You know what I'm saying? So that's a plus to, to not hear that type of thing. But yeah, this is what I was thinking right here. There must be an opening deep inside the black hole. It might lead to another point in the universe or to a different universe entirely. And what could be on that other end is a white hole. This would solve the problem with information. It simply goes somewhere else entirely instead of just disappearing. Another idea says that a white hole may be a brief period of a black hole's life cycle, its ending. If black holes steadily lose their mass, they must eventually lose it all and disappear. But in this last stage of their life, they might become white holes. This would explain why we can't detect them, since it's almost impossible to find an evaporated black hole. Their evaporation simply takes too long. We know how black holes appear. A star much bigger than the sun reaches an age when its own gravity makes it collapse in on itself in a supernova burst. It's much harder to understand how a white hole would form unless it's also the result of aging. Y'all sure y'all want to go out here in the space, man, hearing some of this stuff? <laughs> Was that not scary just to hear that? Just to hear that whole process of what happens to a star? <laughs> Whew! Oh, my bad, I hit mute. Sun reaches an age when its own gravity makes it collapse in on itself in a supernova burst. It's much harder to understand how a white hole would form unless it's also the result of aging but of a black hole instead of a star. The first black holes in the history of the universe formed soon after the Big Bang happened, and those ancient things are great candidates to bring about white holes. This idea also makes astronomers think that white holes might be teeny tiny, smaller than the wavelength of light, and those are the size of bacteria. 
This would make them invisible to us. Nothing would react with them because of their repelling force. And still, they'd have a certain mass. In other words, they'd be good candidates as the mysterious dark matter. It makes up 85% of the universe, yet we can't observe it. Some say that now something that deadly dangerous like that is also in stealth mode to where you can't even see it. <laughs> Again, do we really want to venture out there into space? I'm talking to Elon who still ain't called me yet. Hey, bro, <laughs> let's, th let's think about this some more. You know what I mean? I get your whole premise, but we need to talk. We need to think about this a little bit more. In other words, they'd be good candidates as the mysterious dark matter. It makes up 85% of the universe, yet we can't observe it. Some say the Big Bang itself is suspiciously similar to what a white hole should be. Mm. A tiny dot that suddenly bursts out and spreads in all directions, producing all the matter that will one day become stars, galaxies, planets, and life. In 2006, a NASA satellite caught an extremely powerful gamma ray burst. Those are the most luminous energetic explosions known in the universe. But this one didn't come from an area of space where such bursts are expected. Its properties were also unusual for both gamma ray bursts coming from supernova and neutron stars merging. While other bursts last just a few seconds, this one went on for a minute and a half. One of the ideas about its origins suggests that astronomers observed a real white hole. Still, the most probable answer to the mystery of white holes is that our calculations and predictions about the nature of the universe aren't precise enough. In this case, white holes are just mathematical models that are cool to play with and think about. One thing is certain, some 50 years ago, black holes only existed on paper. Maybe white holes will surprise us in the future too. Yep. Exactly what I thought it was going to be. Scary. <laughs> beyond scary. Beyond belief. Some stuff that we were like, ugh. But it definitely excited my curiosity. It, uh, yeah, I need to learn more. I came away from this with a little bit of information about white holes, but I need more. Um, just, just to see, like, how and continue to figure out how is this thing possibly forming? What does it mean? Um, what could it potentially mean for us? Um, and how it continues to correlate with a uh, black hole, which is just extremely dangerous within itself. So, but uh, this video was astronomers might have found a white hole. Y'all get at me in the comment section, man, and let me know what you thought of this video and stick around and stay tuned, bro. To the next one, I'm gone. Peace.